There's one thing about me is that I'm always trying to revolutionise my morning routine. Like I'm always looking for ways, not even my morning routine, to make anything a bit more fun. But I think having a shower is long, okay? It has to happen and it has to happen every day. So I was like, okay, how can I make this more fun? So I put on this party playlist. It was like songs for people in their 30s or something. And then I was in the shower and the tambourine came on. I was like, and then I suddenly thought, I'm in the shower, I can do what I want. So. I started doing this with my butt. Can you see that? Basically, I started shaking my ass in the shower to tambourine. I can't play the song because it will get copyrighted. I've never shook my ass when I was naked and it was liberating. I was talking about this and I was like, oh my gosh. I didn't have to see it, no one else would see it and I thought, I'm in a thoroughly good mood right now. I need to get out of the shower, I need to tell you about it. You know it's a good day when you've got tambourine playing and you're shaking your ass and you're naked and they're just whacking into each other, both of them, bum cheek and bum cheek. I also, not to show off, I also shave my big toe and that's when you know that I'm going out, out. Because tonight, I'm not going out! I'm being so weird, I actually don't know what's wrong with me. I'm absolutely euphoric, I think so I just played tennis. Whenever I come out of tennis, I the world's my oyster. I'm so pleased my dad made me go to tennis because when I was younger, I couldn't really be asked. And then there was boys there, so then I was like, I went to a girls' school, but I was obsessed with boys from the age of like 12. I used to only go to tennis so that I could talk to boys. And I'm pleased I did because now I've got a hobby. God, I'm actually bleeding on like there's no tomorrow. Let me give you a break for a second. Sorry, I've just watched that back and I don't think you got the full image of me shaking my ass, so I'm going to do it for you again. This is what I was doing. Hey, I'm going to look in the mirror. I was going. Oh, it doesn't look as cool in oh, I've just seen it. Oh, no. Oh no. Okay, I didn't realise that my neck was wobbling at the same time. I look like a bit like a turkey that's getting a bit of a shock. <laughs> Maybe that's better. I need to be quiet because boys are at work call and they don't need to hear me shaking my ass. <laughs> oh my god, I completely forgot that I'm even vlogging. Holly, get in your breath. Yeah, I'm about to get in the shower and I can't show you that, so remind me to come back to you after this. I don't know how you're going to do that, but... I don't know. It's a Friday. My brain on a Friday just says it's the weekend. It says, do you know what, babe? We don't need to do anything. But the problem was that yesterday I had bits and bobs to do. I cannot concentrate if I've just got bits and bobs to do. I need either lots of bobs and bits or I need to do nothing. Now I had maybe like 30% bits and bobs. And so naturally I just didn't do them. And instead I decided just to upload things to Vinted. I'd scheduled myself two hours to do that. I did that all afternoon. Like I was genuinely treating it that like I was getting paid to do it. So basically what I'm saying is there's no wind down Friday because there was no business on Thursday. I thought I would walk you through this. I mean, am I doing this for you? Or am I doing this for me? Maybe this is actually for me because I need to keep myself accountable and I can't make a video and then just say to you all, oh, didn't do anything can be asked. Do you know what I mean? Just sat there, pick my nose. You're going to come with me and I'm going to show you how I try my best to get things sorted. One, I've got your attention actually, let me also tell you, when I have days like yesterday and I don't do anything like productive, by the evening, I normally guilt trip myself into just doing more. Whereas actually, I think people with ADHD, like even when I was in my full-time job, I think the amount we can get done in a small time is probably the equivalent to like a neurotypical person does in a longer period of time. Like I think that's one of the only benefits of having ADHD. I'm not saying that we're like superhuman. I don't mean that, I hate people say that. I just think that as much as in a day of work nine to five, you're probably only gonna get like four hours of work those four hours are like mega speed so it kind of evens out i used to kind of think that was fine because i could put on my timesheet what i'd done and it was still a good amount of work that i would have completed but now when i'm self-employed if i procrastinate all day i then like force myself to then work all into the evening so the whole day is like filled with me procrastinating but not even enjoying it i'm just in this perpetual state of like procrastinating being really horrible to myself in my head and being like get on with it and then procrastinating and then at like 4 p.m. forcing myself to do shitloads of work. Also, sorry, I've been whitening my teeth and I feel like my mouth is very like clammy. So if you can hear mouth noises, sorry. Basically, I've been guilty of myself to then do loads of business. And I spoke to my therapist about this and I was like, I'm just in this horrible state because I've got this like voice in my head that's a bit like a boss who's very like negative about me and is like, you've got good enough work, you need to try harder. 
And she said to me, like, maybe that boss actually isn't, like, shouting and angry. It's just scared. And it's just, like, thinks it's being encouraging, but actually isn't. I was like, you're so right. She's like, maybe you should talk back to the boss and be like, I'm trying my best. Also, if you two have to do a good amount of work, you are going to have to relax. Is you doing those, like, hours in the evening actually going to make much of a difference? And in my case absolutely not so set a deadline stop and say to the boss we need to stop so that's what i did last night i was working until like six and then i said to the boss in my head i think rather than me like berating myself for getting so hyper fixated on that vintage thing i actually just need to start again tomorrow and like maybe you can let me have tonight off and then my brain was like yeah fine so i was like cool i'm still gonna do something productive but just not on my screen so instead i like tidied the house a bit and so then i got something nice done i find tidying actually quite relaxing i just find it hard to start so that was good and i managed to challenge that voice in my head and i think the more i challenge it hopefully the more it will be like understanding and will let me off god i've really rambled for that first three minutes sorry what i actually wanted to show you I need to buy myself. Is this? Also, ignore my screen. I spilled water on it and then I had to put it in rice and it didn't really do anything, but I'm not paying to get it fixed. So here we are. This is how I, I feel really exposed showing you my whole schedule. This is how I do anything, right? I have to write out what I'm doing like minute by minute. So I actually get up at 10 to seven every day or I try to. And then I put my first thing in at half seven, even though I actually start it at like 7.15 because then I feel like I'm ahead of schedule and I like that feeling that feels better than being behind. Um, and also I overestimate and everything of how long it's going to take. I say that a lot of the time I say I've overestimated and I actually haven't and then I'm chasing my tail. But basically what I do is I plan out all my minutes of what I need to do. Now a lot of this I actually won't fit in but then I can just like move it to the next day. I don't know what happened on Tuesday. I didn't fit anything in and this is dangerous because this is when I just do absolutely nothing. This has been a game changer for me. I just like click it, write what I'm going to do and then go from there. Basically at the start of the week I really fill it out but then I know quite often some of these things are going to carry over to the next day. So like today I've left some space so that I can carry over bits from earlier in the week that I haven't done. But I need a schedule. It's not sexy, it's not cool, it's not interesting, but it just makes me feel better. It doesn't feel overwhelming to me and the world is overwhelming to me. Anyway, I need to go and package up some vintage parcels because stuff's actually sold, which I'm well pleased about. And then I want to get Rory some butter so he can have his bagel. I'm such a simp. Buckle in, bitches. You're in for a very boring scheduled day with me. Oh, and another thing before I leave you. I always work better when no one else is working. I think it's because it's like the demand avoidance, like no one's telling me to do it. I find that I get up and I straight away get on with work. Um, at the minute, I'm writing out a plan for a video that I'm filming tomorrow. My productivity kind of is fleeting and it goes at like, after lunch is bad, very bad. That's why I'm like, okay, I need to get this sorted out right now. Out. so what i'm going to do now is plan out my video the saturday that i'm filming this with friends i don't normally have to massively plan out my videos but the reason i'm planning this one out is because i spent quite a lot of money in producing like getting us to this point i've got a videographer i had to book the tickets for the thing i've got props and so i'm just really scared it's going to flop and i'm going to have wasted a load of money I find working before everyone else wakes up means that I've got more leeway in the day for like not getting as much done because I'm going to work seven till nine. So that means I can take like, I can shave two hours off because I still work nine to five hours because I just think that's good to me. I don't want to get in a position where I'm slowing down too much. I think because I'm just like so grateful this is my job and I'm too scared someone's going to take it away. So I just feel like I need to put in a lot of work. Anyway, I'm going to get on. I'm going to write out this plan of shit that I need to sort out before Friday, Saturday. It is Friday. I don't know why I've chosen to film at this angle, but luckily I have been blessed with absolutely nothing so I can and it's absolutely fine. Um, I completely forgot to film the rest of yesterday. I was going about being productive. I actually was quite productive. Look at this. Vinted parcels. I'm going to make some serious cash money, although I'm actually not going to make serious cash money because everything that I've sold was for like a fraction of the price that I bought it for. I'm not going to think about that. I think that's just details. Today though, I'm starting a very exciting series, which I'm hoping is going to be really fun. I suppose actually this is kind of the intro video to it. Oh, I feel like I'm just doing this a bit embarrassingly just on my like floor surrounded by my shit. I'm doing a series called Holly's Hot Girl Hobbies. Oh my God, I've been talking about doing this for literally two years, but I just always put it off because I'm too scared it's not going to be good enough. Basically, I just think I struggle as an adult to socialise because I don't drink as much anymore. Going to the pub, I can do for like a couple of hours when I'm kind of bored or sometimes I just don't want to do that. Like sometimes I just want to do something active. Like I want to get some endorphins going. Basically, I feel like the most of the way that I socialise with my friends is through drinking and I don't drink as much anymore. So it makes it a bit difficult. But at the same time, like I don't have loads of like friends to go on runs with and stuff because a lot of my friends don't really want to do that like with their spare time, which is absolutely completely fair enough. 
So I wanted to come up with like a happy medium where me and my friends could do fun things, but they can just, they don't have to be like fitness, which seems to be the only other option. Or like going for a walk. Again, I don't like walks. I don't like there's not a start and end time. Like I like activities that I know. Okay, I'm gonna meet my friends at this time and then I'm gonna go home at this time. I just like parameters, which is so boring, sorry, but that is just me. Basically, I thought, well, it'd be so fun if me and my friend could like try hobbies and find things that were fun. And also like, I found like I've got nothing to talk about because I'm not interesting. But maybe if I did more interesting things, like trying out new hobbies, I'd be more interesting. I'd have things to say. Like I felt like when I was single, I had loads to say because I would just talk about dating. Whereas now I'm holding no stories. I'm fucking boring as hell. I feel like when I'm happy, I'm just boring. So I thought maybe if I take up some weird hobbies, then I'll have things to talk about. I thought it'd be fun. And I'm hoping eventually I will do this series. I will try out loads of different things and then I'll be able to put on activities and we can all try new things. And they're not all fitnessy, by the way. Today, I am just doing a particularly funny one. I've got two of my friends, Ed and Gord, and we're gonna go to this bungee fitness thing. And I just think it's gonna be fucking hilarious because me and Gord's before, we did a um, Mamma Mia dance workout on holiday. And I I recorded it it was so funny and i just thought they're gonna be the best people so yeah me and them are gonna do some bungee fitness and it's gonna be the first episode of holly's hot girl hobbies so i've got my funky new camera charging phone charging i've got a lovely girl called Catherine who edits my youtube videos she's coming and she's gonna be filming for us i've paid for us to do a private session so i can film it i'm hoping this series is gonna go well probably one because it's cost me quite a lot of money to do but also because i just i really truly think it's gonna be oh you know these like pads make you like you've got like nips coming out up here um i also truly think like it could be a really fun thing for us like going to the future try new things and not be embarrassed to try new things because there is an element of that i always get scared about trying new things so i'm a bit like oh am i being embarrassing but actually i've realized now at the big age of 30 that i actually don't care if i'm embarrassing but i don't think anyone else is embarrassing for trying things so why would i think that people think that about me and if people do think that about me then they're probably not people that i would get on with anyway come with me today i think it's gonna be really fun um to bungee fitness <laughs> so we have men doing it yes, yes. is that all right i was just expecting it to be girls <laughs> no, My dad. My dad. Yeah. i am sorry do you know what it might uh, we've got these harnesses right? yeah i don't know <laughs> side to side yeah risk in it bloody yeah I'd rather be on a Saturday afternoon to be honest. <laughs> Sorry this vlog is absolutely all over the place because I just do little bits and bobs that are interesting. The rest of the time I'm just sat on my laptop like writing out treatments for briefs or working for freelancing. So I just feel like you're really not that interested in that. It's so windy. I wish the storm would shut up. I'm trying to vlog. I think you've just watched a snippet of what I did yesterday of a class I did with my friends for a series I've got coming out. Day today, every Monday I go over to my parents' house because I go to therapy near my parents' house. So I spend the day at the airs, do some business or just chat shit with my mum. And then I go to therapy and work out what the hell's going on with this little tiny brain of mine. I'm also, I've got to tell you, I might actually treat this like FaceTime. I just hit a PB on my 5k. I absolutely caned it on my like, running plan because I do like the runner running plan. I'm trying to get a faster 10k. I um, had an easy run today, but I decided that rather than doing an easy run, I would just cane it. Like sometimes I just get in the mood to get to see what I can do because I've got no idea what I've actually got in the tank. So I got a mega, mega fast one. It was so fast it made my shoulder hurt, which is so weird. Like why is my shoulder bothered that I'm doing a run? Do you know what I mean? Okay, again, I forgot to finish the vlog. I don't know why I'm looking so timid at my hiding behind this cushion. It's more because I thought when my nipples was going to pop out of this top. I say nipples, I've got no boobs. There's nothing else that's going to pop out. It's just be a pure nip. Anyway, I am working on my vlogs, but I just wanted to know, I've got some questions for you guys. If you're still watching this vlog, that must mean that you quite enjoyed it. And then you are probably my target audience. So I want to know what kind of things you want to see. Like I get sent 
stuff because of PR weather. And I was thinking of doing like a haul, but then I don't know, do you want to see that? Like what do people like to watch on here? Like, do you want me to do more like active things like a Q&A or a haul or a, like a haul? Yeah, did I just say haul? Sorry, I haven't got any brain cells. I'm wondering if you prefer that or if you prefer just kind of coming about as I'm milling about my day. Because sometimes I'm getting worried that I'm talking a bit too much about like random shit rather than like actually doing something. So let me know if there's like a particular kind of thing you'd like to see me do. Because coming up, so next week, I think I'll actually have two videos. I've filmed two videos. I've got a glow up video coming up. Where the, well, the glow up never, as you can probably see, the glow up didn't quite happen. But the process of me trying, you know, trying is better than nothing, isn't it? So I've got a glow up and then I've got the next hobby, which will be coming out next week. Which I'm filming today. It, it's just stupid. Like, it's just a funny hobby and I'm doing with my brother. So yeah, let me know what you enjoy watching from other people. Or oh, maybe even who else you watch so I can take some inspo and um, steal their ideas. And then, yeah, thank you very much for watching this. And I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.